In this part, we will summarize the database application system or the student enrollment system that we designed in the previous section. Uh, we created three different tables. The first table is the student table, which is known as an object file. And the second table is the course table, which again is an object file that keeps track of the object course. And the third table is known as the enrollment table. Suppose that we want to list all the courses in which Liu is enrolled and the grades that he obtained on each of the courses. It can be done as follows. First, we will go to the student file or student table and retrieve the ID, student ID number of Liu. That has been done. That's step number one. Once we obtain the student ID, the next step is to go into the enrollment file. When we go into the enrollment file, we know that he is enrolled in two courses. CIS 100 and CIS 484 and receive the following grades. Once we know this information, then we can of course print the information as follows. What? How do we print? We print that Liu is enrolled in CIS 100 and received a grade of A. Liu is again enrolled in CIS 484 and received a grade of A minus. If you want to get more information as to the number of units of each of these courses, we can of course go in here and find that CIS 100 is 4 units, 4 units here. So, we could also print that information here like this, uh, 4 units, 4 units. So, here we have obtained the information from 3 different tables and this is how this relational database management system operates. So, once again, there might be a question on this. The question is, what is the relationship between students and courses? It's many to many. And there might be instances of other examples as well, where the relationship could either be one to many or many to many. The important point to remember here is that when we have a many to many relationship, like the one between the student and the course, then we have two object files. The first object file is this and the second object file is this. And to represent this model in the database system, we create a third relationship file that keeps track of the relationship between students and courses, which is a many-to-many -many relationship. This brings us to the end of this lecture, the part 5 lecture on database management and design.